Good morning, folks, and this is going to be talking about what I've been working on. The uh, This here that you're looking at is the um, engine and front suspension for my F100 uh, track truck. Um, I'm building it for road course racing and drifting, and I'm doing the bog standard uh, Crown Vic front end swap, and... Uh, but instead of putting the Crown Vic motor in it, I decided I was a glutton for punishment and decided I was going to put a twin cam 5.4 liter V8 out of a Lincoln Navigator uh, into it. Um, and I got the... Uh, I'll give you a quick walk around and I'll tell you the tale. Um, so I originally purchased this out of a junkyard and when I did I made sure to get uh, the engine wiring harness out and I got the engine control module out um, you know this had all the accessories they're in a box at the moment but uh, power steering pump AC which I'm not going to use um, alternator etc I got all that with it and I hit um, and then I went to try and find someone who can set me up a calibration on the computer to uh, run this in a non-emissions controlled environment. Um, and then I discovered that the engine control module will not control the engine module unless it can talk to the body and transmission control module. Which, I, didn't, I knew it had a body control module. I didn't know that the transmission control module was its own thing uh, at the time. So that's gone off to get uh, crushed and turned into rebar. Um, and so up the creek without a paddle for the transmission and for the engine control. So I spent a good while, several years, um, researching, looking into this and that, and telling everybody I was going to build this awesome thing. Uh, trying to figure out how I could do this without having to spend thousands of dollars on engine management systems and such. And without much luck. So finally I said, well, hell with it. I am going to take this thing straight back to 1968 to match the truck. So what you're looking at here, um, this is, again, a 5.4 liter twin cam uh, from 2002 Lincoln Navigator. Um, I put, uh, I made, I flame cut actually two uh, flanges that matched the, uh, intake gasket and bolted them to the head and braced them together. I welded up a box tunnel ram. Uh, I can show you yeah, down in there. Uh, and I finished up the openings with epoxy to clear up the shape. Um, but I made uh, replaceable tops for it uh, so I can go to a dual carburetor setup if I want to. This is uh, sheet metal, uh, exhaust tubing, again, 3 8 plate, um, this is more exhaust tubing, um, this flange, again, a flame cut flange, uh, this is a water neck from, it's Mr. Gasket for some small block Chevy of some sort, <laughs> speaking of Mr. Gasket for some small block Chevy, I got a, uh, Emma, a, uh, HEI distributor, uh, that's standard GM for, well, GM, stuff. I think they use that in just about everything. And I have configured it to be a belt drive. Um, I used my little Harbor Freight lathe to turn an adapter here. I need to make a piece that actually ties it to, that actually indexes it. Right now it's just bolted in place. Um, but ties it to the front of the crank. Um, this is a uh, M5 belt. Um, which you can order these any size, any shape. Uh, well, not any size, any shape. But most sizes, most shapes. Because these are very popular for uh, like CNC routers. Um, and they are... Uh, but they're timing belts. Um, and they're, we're not really requiring lots of uh, power. I mean, we're not running the cams off of this. It's just spinning the distributor. And the way it works, it comes up to this intermediate shaft here. And this is where the uh, speed reduction happens between the crank and here. Uh, that's a 25 tooth. This is a 50 tooth. Um, 
and then these are two 25 tooth gears um and our cog belt or sprockets and uh, again just spins a distributor i've got this pinned through um i got a little bit of uh bracing here this is just mocked up at the moment um my uh initial my current project right now on this i have to finish this uh, rear brace um finalize how i'm going to do this center shaft oh it's not a shaft it's just a uh a stud to hold the whole thing together. Um, how I'm, and I have to work out my tensioners. Uh, this needs a tensioner, and uh, so does this. I'm planning on a piece off of this, this bolt here, and an arm that comes down like so. Um, and again, this one, this one, I actually think I'm going to pull down um, for, uh, somehow from here. Uh, but that's, uh, that is a, um, a belt drive distributor. Uh, when I have my final completed piece, I'm going to take it apart and do drawings of it for anyone who's interested in duplicating it. Um, I have, I'll probably, I probably have a good bit of money in it right now. Um, but, uh, probably if you knew what you were getting from the very beginning and ordered it all at once, it'd probably be 200 bucks. Um, for belts, sprockets, the distributor, um, the bearings that you need, things like that. Um, the So, uh, in either case, I also said that I was up the creek about the transmission. Um, the transmission I ended up getting, the Lincoln Navigator was an all-wheel drive uh, truck, and after a while, I was able to find um, that uh, the T-45s, and the T56 manual transmissions that came behind these sorts of motors are um, horribly expensive. And, um, I mean, basically, they, they cost more than I have in the entire rest of this setup. Um, and that's just for the transmission, not including a clutch, not including anything else. So, I kept on looking, and uh, obviously there's no all mechanical transmission that uh um there's no all mechanical transmission that uh, that uh that came behind these modular motors ford had gone uh computer controlled before they went to this style engine um so need a something like a 4r70w or any of you ford guys can probably recognize this is a 4r100 uh, Two-wheel drive out of an F-350, heavy-duty, um, and uh, obviously it's electronically controlled, so how in the hell am I going to electronically control it? Well, um, some interesting things I found looking up information. I found the pinout for it, um, and in fact, the control of this transmission is not unlike um, the... Uh, uh, 4L60E and the 4L80E and the GM transmissions, um, where the bands that control your speeds are wired up um, to two switches, or wired up to two solenoids, which can be controlled with switches. Um, basically, um, I'd have to look up the exact the exact combination, but the idea being that two two both off is one gear, you know, first one on is another gear. Second one on is another gear, and both on is your fourth gear. And that's basically what I'm going to set up here. Um, the, uh, the shifting is going to be rather sudden, um, but this is not going to be a, um, a comfort-oriented vehicle. It is meant to go around a track very fast, and... As far as longevity, I haven't been able to get many straight answers, so we are going to see how it does. Um, the suspension, it this bolts up with the same motor mounts as came with the with the uh, uh, engine cradle. Um, uh, exhaust, um, I'm going to try and get it started with the stock manifolds. However, I also have a set of small block uh, original Windsor um, headers. The, for a 5.0 Mustang, 
which I am going to cut those flanges off, do two more flame cut flanges, and replace these, because these are, I suppose these work. I am very surprised that these flow for 300 horsepower that this is factory rated to, but um, I will see. I'm not going to, uh, I want to get it running first and then I will start, I will start uh, messing with it. Um, but that's the general plan. Uh, internally, I don't plan to do anything at all to these engines, this engine to start with. Um, stock raw, it's exactly how it came out of the junkyard. Uh, I don't even know if this thing's, if this thing's good. Um, everything I've been able to t check on it seems to check out. Um, but, uh, yeah, so Ben, th this is a, uh, a five year, a five year gamble here. And, uh, anyway, that is the current status of the project. The, uh, truck is just sitting waiting on this and, uh, waiting on me to get a title for it. Um, so, yeah, that is the F100 uh, rat rod round, uh, racetrack truck project thing stuff. Yeah.